Um, today we're reviewing Marvel's Puma, or Puma, whatever way you say it. And let's take a look at the packaging first, and then, yeah. So here is the packaging, and it's just Spider-Man, Marvel's Puma, or Puma, whatever. I'm going to say Puma, because, I don't know. And you can see the intricate web design, and then you can see a spider there. And, of course, Legends by Hasbro. I did get this from GameStop today. On the side, you can see Puma. Um, I don't know why, but he just doesn't look like the action figure that much. He looks different. Um, maybe it's just the photo. I mean, the painting or what, whatever. But it looks kind of different to me. Well, at least the skin color. And, again, on the back, we have Spider-Man, Black Cat, Puma, a symbiote Spider-Man, tr Trasher, I believe. Night Trasher, yeah, Silver Sable, Red Goblin, and yeah. And then the read up over here says the genetically engineered Thomas Fireheart can transform himself into half mountain lion, half the human known as Puma. Alright, so a little history on Puma. Well, he um, is a villain. He does become a hero eventually. Like, he, he like, helps Spider Man. He's like, yeah, this guy's pretty good. Let's. Well, he's a mercenary. He was hired to kill Spider-Man, but instead he became friends, basically, after a few fights. Um, so, yeah. So, and um, he, he is Native American, and that's how he got his powers. It was, like, yeah. Anyways, he also has a business, Thomas Fire, and he's pretty rich, I guess. And people on the side again. So, yeah. Well, that's basically the packaging. Let's take a look at the figure. Nah, just kidding. Let's look at Kingpin's torso first. Not a lot, but it does look good. I don't think I'm going to be able to complete this. So, yeah. But, cool coat. Looks looks good, I guess. So, yeah, I'm just going to give you a short review of this, because I'm never going to do the, the action figure itself. So, yeah, looks pretty good, I guess. And now, let's take a look at Puma. Wow. Thank goodness this video is... Like 19 minutes long, I believe. Now I can just see how long it's going to be. Or it's my limit, at least. So that looks really good. That just looks. <laughs> wow. Alright, so let's just start with the face. Um. Ooh. So. Wow. Um, the face looks really good. Okay. Let's see if we can. Yeah, look at that. That looks so good. There's a scar right here. And yeah, I like his teeth. Looks pretty good. I like his nose as well. His pointy ears. Oh! Psh. His pointy ears and his hair. And then, of course, his, uh, his feathers on the back. It's tied. I don't know if you would count this as an accessory, even though he doesn't come with one. It, it is his necklace. And for some reason, this looks really familiar to me. Like, it looks like Black Panthers. I don't know. Maybe there was a story with Black Panther. But, but I'm not sure. Anyways, looking at closer look at this. Nice, nice shirt, I guess. And then, looking at the back. A uh, feather here with a bracelet. And we have fur or hair, whatever, right here. And then, again on the front... Just the back again, sing. Um, and fur on the front. It's pretty detailed. Let me see if you can see. Yeah, look at that detail. Looks really good. Yep, yeah, I like the white, white right there. With the feathers, by the way. Anyways, here's his belt. And then his, um, and then his lower body, and yeah, look at those toes, he's got nails, and then fur again right here, I'm pretty sure that you can like move this up and down, let me just try, I mean, a little bit on this one, maybe it's supposed to be glued down, maybe, you can move this, but it won't come off because the fur, right here, it won't allow it. So, yeah. 
Anyways, let's take a look at the articulation for this figure. Now, articulation-wise, the head can look up this far. I hope you don't do it that much because there he does have feathers this far up. And this far down. And then full 360. And then his arms can move out this far. Move in this far. 360. Bicep swivel. 360. Double jointed elbows. And then his hands can hinge, has his hinge and side and 360 swivel. Mm, same with this. Um, and this does not put any limitations unless you have it here, which I don't know why you would have this here. I'd just put it right there. Um, anyways, waist crunch forward, waist crunch back would be this much. And, uh, yeah, it is kind of hard on mine right now. But maybe just because I got it right now, and I'm, it's like I've hardly even played with this. And I just belt. And you can move the torso but I would recommend not because you're putting a lot of pressure on this. I don't know why they didn't do what they did for my black ant figure which is they think oh no 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 my black ant ah oh, here's my black ant <laughs> okay good anyway so my wow that was stupid alright um so my black ant figure here First of all, this is not, not a good figure. I mean, it's a pretty good figure, but it's just really, like, ooh, wobbly and all. I mean, it's pretty old, actually. It came out with the Ant-Man wave. So, you know, you could, you could rotate the belt. You could, like, move it up and down. Yeah, it would really not... I mean, and then look at that. It's so good. I, I don't know why they didn't do that with Puma. And especially because he was, like, released just like this year. Like... In January, like almost like a year ago, but still, yeah. Anyways, um, legs can move up this much, move back this much, which is not a lot. Like it can move back, hardly. Like look at this. I don't know. And then crunch, and then swivel here, 360. And then double jointed knees. And then no boot rotation. So, oh, oh, I mean, it's not in boots, it's just his feet. But ankle pivot, and yeah, good ankle pivot. And then you can move it up this much, and this much down. So, yeah, pretty good. So overall, I wasn't like I wasn't very excited to get this figure. Uh, it's just like, oh, this is a good figure. I'll take it. I mean, he's a, a villain or like an anti-hero, more villain, but someone like an anti-hero. I mean, he was he was an okay figure to get, but then when I started playing around with him and just, you know learning about his backstory. I think he's much, he's like something that you should totally get as a villain. He would make a good, uh, good, good action figure. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. Goodbye.